Well, good morning, uh, people in the viewer vast as I and Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, it's a cup of tea with Captain Steve, and we're going to be talking about No Man's Sky again. I know I've done quite a lot of No Man's Sky, cup of tea with Captain Steve episodes. I probably will be varying away from that soon. However, we've just had an update, so it's kind of expected, to be honest. And um, today, I'm going to be talking a bit about Utopia, the actual expedition Utopia, and a, a sort of idea that Utopia has given me for perhaps possible endgame sort of content, or something to at least be considered, I am hoping to send this over to Hello Games' Zendesk, and hopefully, you never know, something might come of it, but who knows. Anyhow, let's jump on over to the old reaction camera people, shall we? Chicka boom! There I am, over on the Tinterweb, and this is my community tab over on YouTube. If you don't check out people's community tabs, it's well worth having a look, people. I'll show you some of the best ways that I keep track of people's community tabs inside of the verse and a bit, people. Anyway, here's my actual post. The latest No Man's Sky expedition, Utopia, sort of added in professions into the game. If you could add in a, a profession, what would you like? And then I gave an example. Fauna Hunter. Look for the most deadly of fauna, scan them, photograph them, and remove them in some cases. Collect info on them, like the movie Predator. And dig up ancient bones and perhaps win favour with a viking for doing so, and get extra perks. So I was thinking maybe the more you do, perhaps they might offer you multi-tools like alien varieties or normal varieties, but then have got, I know, horns and tusks and stuff stapled all over the freaking multi-tools, you know, things like that. That sort of thing could be offered up. Or maybe even they let you use the ancient bones to build some sort of skeleton of a creature or something. Ah, we've been saying that for freaking years, but it never came to fruition. Add your ideas here, I plan to do a video on them. This is that video! Heck <laughs> yes it is. Okay, cool. Let's scroll on down then. Cool. Pico Lux says, a small update for sure. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's not an idea, Captain Steve. That's not an, up, that's not an idea. That's just uh, saying what you think of the expedition. And so's that. Dang you. <laughs> okay. That's not what I'm after, but thank you. Cool. Okay. I'd like to see professions that does more with trade routes. Trade-only items. Yes. I can make lots of units running the trade routes I've set up. But it'd be cool to see missions associated with these, where you have a client place a massive order of hundreds of each random selection of items from different economy types. Well, like this. This would encourage exploration and more time planet side as you would need to go to multiple systems in order to collect the large number of items needed to fill the order. You could even have mission rankings similar to the frigate missions. More stats require more items, but become bigger rewards. I like this idea. That's a good idea. Euphrata could gain cargo pods for each item type, similar to those that we see following the system freighters that you and your crew have to protect from pirates until the shipment is delivered. Oh, that's nice. Yes, <laughs> that is a cool idea. This could also give us another use for our squadrons. If a pod gets destroyed, you'd have to buy all the items again, adding an element of danger risk to the mission. Risk and reward, risk and reward. That's something that's, that would really work in a trade sort of, yeah, like this. This could pair really with the endurance freighter update we got last year. Perfect, that's the sort of stuff I was after. Heck yes, let's hope we've got more like this in there. That's a great idea. They should be able to flash out bounty hunters and pirates with everything that's already in game. Those professions need exclusive items. That way we can do our FOMO expeditions and collect exclusive items at our own pace. I love fauna farming and cooking to mean more. Scrap a profession to be introduced along with customizable ships. So hunting for busted ships can reveal new parts to own on own ships instead of currently just basically being able to make a few million units at a time. Love that one too. I've often said that the shuttles, the shuttles need to have a perk that if you land a shuttle next to a crashed ship, you can actually use the quick menu of the shuttle to just scrap the crashed ship, making the shuttles like little scavenger type ships. I think that would work really well with the shuttles. Yeah, anyway. Myself, I enjoy surveying planets for massive amounts of units, so that always has been my unofficial job, xenobiologist, the study of alien life, and biomes perhaps. Yeah, that's pretty darn cool. There's a new Wonders catalogue, Discovery, 
sort of element inside of our UIs now, people. And it puts up all your most awesome finds there inside of that discoveries window. I'm hoping that they're going to be building on this. And they could tie professions into that, couldn't they? I'm just trying to think of end game stuff. Things that it'd be nice if we could assign ourselves one of these professions for 30 days. You know, like on mobile games, you have a 30 day sort of thing. You have a daily thing, a weekly thing and a 30 day thing. I think this will make, make a really good 30 day thing. And if you keep it that profession for the 30 days, depending on how you rank in that tier of that profession, you get gifted some kind of reward could be cosmetic could be a new title you know that sort of thing i think that could kind of work really well and then you can go to the actual professions agent and pick up a new profession the next month it could it could bring in a bit of longevity couldn't it there we go personal shopper instead of cooking for Kronos, he gives you a list of ingredients to go pick up for him you get a reward for shopping and also learn a recipe <laughs> that's a pretty cool idea that's a nice little side arc to Kronos. Yeah, could it actually work as a profession? Maybe. Maybe. Heck yes. Monster Hunter, basically. There'll be a giant monster on planets and you get to fight them, says Hockelberb. Well, yeah, tie that into my idea. Add in mega faunas. That would really sort of add on to my sort of fauna one and being the predator of the galaxy. Heck yes. Just means that they've got to create a lot of giant sort of mega faunas. Yeah, but that would be excellent. That would be cool. I kind of thought that's what we was getting when I saw the rhino smashing down trees in the free trailer, but you know, it didn't happen. Or the giant worms. We've got the giant worms, but can we do battle with them? No. So just turn that on. That'd be a start. At least we've got one giant critter to take care of. Explorer, charting the deep reaches of the unexplored space, discovering that all the unique planets out there, diving deep into ocean depths and uncovering mysteries, braving into gas giants, trying to survive its inhospitable atmospheres. Flying so close to stars that you risk losing my ship, only for the bragging rights of having done it. Oh wait, we're talking about No Man's Sky. <laughs> I want to build a cool base, says Plo. Yeah, some of this stuff as I was reading this, I was like, hold on. Um, some of this, like flying too close to a star and risk losing your ship, that's very elite dangerous. But yeah, it would be nice to have elements of that come into the game. It really would. Um, exploration does need a little bit of a rethink and a little bit more polish and love, a little more depth. But yes, I see where you're going with this. No Man's Sky is slowly morphing into a base building space game rather than um, an exploration space game. It'd be nice to have the balance swayed back, but yeah, I think that's a completely different video, but thank you. Yeah, Explorer. Cool. Something like a glo grocery store clerk where you can go and buy the plants you need without having to find them yourself. Righto, yeah. I suppose we could have botanists or sort of some sort of florist sort of clerk or something. I'd like to be able to just buy silicate powder somewhere. I hate having to use the terrain manipulator and then you get that message popping up saying complexity has been reached or whatever. It's like, well, fudging heck, I need to build some bloody walls. Yeah. <laughs> I just switched the mode now, you know. Sentinel fighter. Hunt down and eliminate sentinels and their bases. Make their freighters destructible so we have epic space battles between you and your fleet and theirs. You know what I'd love? I'd love it if, after you've taken out all the cannons on the actual Sentinel freighter, I'd love it if you could then dock with it, go inside, and then, you know, like how derelict freighters randomly generate you a dungeon. It does that. But as you're going through it, you've got to fight off loads of little Sentinel drones and things. I mean, we've got all the Sentinel drones on planet. Add those in, some dog ones, and maybe a new type inside of the Sentinel um, freighter as well, maybe a bipedal that looks more human, not quite as large as the Minotaur, but more like an actual, you know, person person. And maybe you can get some awesome sentinel sort of modules in there to bolt into your ship and that'd be pretty darn sweet some awesome sort of tech anyway yeah and have a bait i have maybe a boss in there or something i've always noticed in the derelict freighters the, the end room is double height isn't it they could easily put a boss in the end of derelict freighters rogue ex-military left the space forces to explore the universe he has a deep backstory and certain goals which keep him traveling across space he finds himself in many situations and knows more than he lets on he has a reputation across the galaxies think errol flynn indiana jones combination from commander gray wolf well thank you very much there Commander Grey Wolf wants to be a rogue. Wants to be a rogue. I mean, they have added in sort of contraband and things like that and smuggling and doing all... It's almost like they're putting in the framework for this sort of stuff, doesn't it? It does kind of feel that they're building something. But then that's, that's the whole thing with No Man's Sky. It just feels like they're building something. 
but there's nothing that's actually finalized or capped off. It's got so much potential. A scrat assassin hired to kill that little icy age guy that pops his head out of the ground. Kate Blair, Dr. Pong. Yeah, um, so if you don't know, it's, it's, there's a little creature that pops out the ground. Pops out. And, and I, I think Kate Blair just wants to assassinate every single one of those that they see. All right. <laughs> Intrepid explorer. It's what I already do, says Roy McLeod. Nice one. Strippers for nightclubs, says Commander Keen. <laughs> oh, for fudge sake. Could you imagine that? A gag. Da, 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 da. Put it back on! You offend my eyes. <laughs> that'd be, okay, that'd be awesome. I don't know whether that... I, would, I think that's just... A, that'd be awesome, just as, you know, in professions. Xenobiologists expanding more of the actual biology of the fauna found. Even zoo-type-based parts can make it look cool. Heck yes. Or space station magnets owning the station and controlling the trade that is in the system. A whole range of business-related missions and tasks. Nice. Even a formalized mining feature, especially since some players are dedicated trade routes to sell and mine commodities. So many in-game missed opportunities by No Man's Sky. Yeah, I agree with pretty much all of that. Thank you, yes. Captain Steve, publicist. <laughs> yeah, I am doing that, actually, aren't I, really, I suppose? Yeah, with this sort of video. Oh, yeah. I think there's some really good ideas there. Now, I did do a video just the other week, and I can't remember which one it was, where I asked people to sound off inside of the comments, but I've done that many videos that I've lost track of where that was, and there was a couple in there. I think Catherine W put some ideas in there, and there, there was just um, just titles. I think she just put titles of various jobs that she would like to do. Not actually panned it out, because I didn't give an example. So I went by this instead. So if I haven't read out your comments from that other video, it's probably because they were just titles and, and not sort of went to town in what the actual... But well, then again, I didn't put the ask out there properly, did I? Now, what I was thinking is if the Hello Games actually gave us the ability to build our own expeditions inside of No Man's Sky, technically, you could put something together that actually fits almost like a profession, and we could build these out ourselves. Now, they are putting in a lot of UI changes, setting changes, and things like that, and, and more options over to the actual end user. So is it that they're going to make more player-driven content in future? I mean, the player-driven content right now, base building, seems to be the most popular pool to the game and holds people the longest. If we're being truthful and honest, I mean, exploration takes you so far, lore takes you so far, but it's the base building that keeps you coming back, and maybe a little bit of exploration tied into that too, looking for the planet to build the, build the perfect base or find the pet, a really cool pet or something. You know, there's some draws for different people, but a lot of people, I think, that stick with No Man's Sky are the people with big imaginations that like to role-play things out. And it's this sort of stuff where people are role-playing these out in hub zones and in sort of, you know, I've got my own little hub, the 905. And now that we've got this catalog page, the Wonders area, I'm thinking of doing a lot more of my Discord and maybe with the 905 when it comes to Wonders and trying to get people to help me to find the best Wonders inside of the 905. So that's something that I'm hoping to bring to my channel on Mondays. And uh, you're probably watching this right now. I'm thinking it's a Monday right now. Yes, it is. Yes. I'm going to do the first Wonder Adventure. I'm calling it Wonder Quest. Wonder Quest! <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you're going to be able to see that at 6 p.m. of this evening's people in the view of us. So yeah. Lock that one in. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, but you like the idea of that, please hit all those buttons and get the notification that I'm going live. It's 6 p.m. in UK time, and we have daylight time savings that happen every now and again. It's just easier to turn on the blinking notification for when that sort of tomfoolery is happening. Anyway, I'm going to have a little sip of my tea. So, yeah, <clears throat> there's a couple of things. If Hello Games was to implement this, I really hope that they do it in some sort of 30-day thing. So you log in each day, you get you get a different mission for your actual job title, your profession. And if you do it all month, and you log in for an hour, do the, do a little mini quest or whatever, and it builds and builds and builds, and your ranking goes up, and you get given something at the end of the 30 days for how well you've done your job. Well, a little bit like mobile games where you have dailies, weeklies, and then the 30-day thing. You know, that I think it could work a treat. And Hello Games, they could just keep pumping little bits of you know, some sort of cosmetics into the, these professions. And maybe they can you can roll out and change profession each month. Maybe it's a set profession for all players for the 30 days. Don't really mind how they implement it. Or they could just hand the reins over to the players and say, look, you can now create your own little mini 
expeditions inside of No Man's Sky. Boom. There you go. Boom. And then we can share them to other players and people can pick them up from some sort of roster found at the Nexus. You log into a machine, you can have a look at all the different expeditions by who created them, hit it up and away you go, you know? Yeah, so that's my ideas. Um, but yeah, I'll put that out there to you guys in the verse. If you like this idea, make sure you hit that like. And yeah, I'm going to send this over to Hello Games and uh, to the Zendesk and Twitter and everywhere else I can think of. Anyway, take care, people. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.